Welcome guys, JH, welcome back. Okay. Now, while we're on the theme of strengthening up the grip or getting more grip pressure and really using that grip pressure to hit the golf ball, something else <coughs> that I was doing the other day, and I'll be croaky here guys because I'm really struggling with this flu. Something I uh, I was working on the other day, I was just fiddling around getting the pressure and I was here and I was just going, grab it JH, grab it, grab it, grab it. And I got back here and I was going, eh, eh. I thought, wow, doesn't that feel good? And what was I doing? I was getting here and firing, firing that club head. Firing that club head with that tight grip. That way. Like a, like a really vice grip hard throw away. But what's interesting is that if you have the, the vice grip here and you're going like that, because you've got the vice grip you can't throw it away. In actual fact, the more you try to throw it away with the vice grip early there, the more retention you'll actually get. And someone else who had a really tight grip and actually threw the club away and had on the downswing had a very wide arc and not much lag for a great player was Tom Watson. Tom Watson, I'm, I'm sure that's the reason Tom had the sort of width he had in his downswing compared to you know the Sergio's and the guys that really pull it in here. Because you look at Sergio's got a very soft grip, you can see it, it's, a, it's very wishy -way. he's a great ball striker but you can see that's how he gets that that paintbrush action. But Tom was very, very solid. And Tom had that look from the top of that. That's what he had that look. He certainly didn't have that look. So I was just fiddling around, guys, and I was doing this. I was going, uh, with a grip just going, and, and, I, and I felt that happening. I thought, wow, is that a good feel? So I just hit a couple of shots. Like this. If you could see that. And guys, you know what that is? That's just this. When I get here, I just go bang. Just fire that as hard as I can with that trail hand. Oh. Like a, if you had a meat cleaver and you were gonna cut up some sausage on a bench, bang, just like that. That's what that feels like, guys. That feels like a cleaving action like that. And what I got one of my buddies here who flew in for a lesson for me and he was having all sorts of uh, striking problems. I just got him to, to do what I, what I call a pump. I got him here and I got him to push, push with that hard grip. Push, push, hit it. Man, he just absolutely killed the golf ball. And you know what, he did it on the first shot. He had about five sessions where he went push, push, vice grip hammer and he said JH I feel like I'm doing that and we had him on the video and clearly he wasn't he was doing that but he felt like that but he went from sounding very anemic with the strike to uh, to absolutely making a really good compression sound so this is what it is again it's counterintuitive we're gonna go here here, but you can't do that with a soft grip. You know why? Because you can't balance that there in this hand if the grip's soft because it does that. But if the grip is really hard here in those back fingers, all those fingers there and the pad, that's supporting that. I feel a lot of pressure go in here and it's like a spring effect. Don't get any better than that. Now that's a little half just a little half hammer shot. Again, give it a go. People say, I'll oh, throw it away. Well, try and throw it away. But keep the pressure up and you won't throw it away. You only throw it away if there's no pressure. But what, what happens is, and there's an amazing knock-on effect. The more pressure I have in my hands here, it goes up here, up here into a triangle here, and it consolidates this triangle. I don't get all this 
all the components moving in different directions. They're all consolidated. It's like a power lock. It's like a tension lock. Everything's locking everything in place. Okay, totally opposite to what anybody would ever tell you to do. I've never heard anyone say, grip the club like a vice. I've never heard anyone say, throw it there with that vice grip. But that, that quality of strike there is just beautiful. So it's there. And I feel, guys, when I push that down, because I've got the tension here, I feel all this spring effect in here, and you'll feel it yourself. Hold it and push it down. You'll feel, you'll feel the club push into the butt, then you'll feel that. And when you feel that, you'll know you've got the right amount of tension. And you can go after it. Now, this wind is really strong here. Just, really just, you can just hammer it. I'll pump it a couple of times and then hit it. That's just a little drill. But they're going within about 10 or 12 yards of a, uh, of a normal, or maybe 15 yards of a normal seven iron. And that's gone, that's gone normal seven iron distance, guys. That's actually gone normal seven iron distance. <coughs> Yeah, so, so the story is, lots of pressure, hold on as tight as you can. When you don't feel that, that tension going back in here, going back into the, into the uh, under forearm here, in behind the wrist, you'll know that you haven't got enough pressure in that left, in that lead hand because it'll get floppy. But when you've got the pressure in there, it transfers the energy into here. Really, this is 16 on a scale of 1 to 10 pressure. Well, what's interesting, guys, since I went back, and I've been on it for about three or four days now, to getting my grip pressure back, I haven't hit any loose shots. And I was starting to hit some flappy shots. They just didn't have any integrity in them. They looked okay, but they were just very wishy-washy. Now I'll try and throw this away, I'll actually try and throw it, throw the club there. I'll try and do that, but because this is hanging on so tight I can't do that. It can't do that. try and throw this way there. Anyway guys, just something to, to try. If, you, if you've had trouble with your, your pitching of the ball, oh sorry, uh, have, you, have your quality of strike of the ball, just firm up your grip. You may not have to firm it up to the extent that I have, but just firm it up in both hands. I see a lot of guys who are right-handed, they get here, and the right hand's just sort of, right, just sitting on there, very, very flappy. And at the top of the swing, they're getting this look, they're getting a separation. Well, that means there's no pressure in the hand. And you'll never see a good player get separation there. Now, if they don't get separation there, they've got to have pressure exerting on that thumb. Otherwise, they would have separation, wouldn't they? But the reason that the club player gets that separation at the top of the swing is because there's no pressure. There's no tension in the grip. Alright, well really, this will be a vice grip. That's as good as old J.H. can hit it. And that feels like I'm doing that. Really. <clears throat> but because the grip is really tight, guys, I can't, I can't throw it away. I can get it going there and get a bit of width going there, but I can't throw it away. 
because the grip's too tight. And if you're a player that has trouble hitting knockdown shots, where you've got to keep a bit of pressure on the club, this will help you enormously. Now we've got a really strong wind here today into us. So I'll just hit a little knockdown seven iron here. I'll really blitz it under the under the wind with a lot of a lot of a lot of grip pressure and a lot of throw away there. See that's only gone hasn't gone any more than about you know, 15 feet in the air and it's just scooted out there. Yeah, because I threw it there. Okay guys, just something else to try from the JH give it a go category. Yeah, it may not might be terrible for you, but you'll never know unless you try it. And if you've had trouble with your striking, why wouldn't you try it? Why wouldn't you try it? If you've had trouble, if you had no trouble, don't try it. Okay, last shot, we'll really I'll try an 18 in grip pressure. Now that's what I should do. 18 is the grip pressure for me. Scale of 1 to 10, 18. That's just going miles. Okay, guys. Okay, a little radical, but have a go. Why not? The whole idea is to try things. If you don't try things, you'll never know if they work. And there could be something you say, and you poo-poo, and you say, oh, I wouldn't do that. And it could have been the one thing that made your golf swing, that resurrected your golf swing and locked your golf swing together because it's different strokes for different folks no question about that different swing thoughts different application thoughts and even different mechanical applications anyway guys there's always something different on the JH practice team give it a go it might be fantastic it might work wonders